Lord. Hallelujah. Your labor will not be in vain. It will not be in vain. So it takes diligence, hard work for things to keep working. It takes hard work for things to keep working. Nothing happens on its own. It takes hard work for things to keep working. So begin to train yourself. Begin to build up your mind for hard work. Receive the grace from God to be committed to hard work in a dignified and righteous way. Not hard work in crooked ways. Glory be to Jesus. In Proverbs 14, 23, he says, In all labor there is profit. In all labor there is profit. But the talk of the lips tended only to penury. In all labor, Proverbs 14, 23. In all labor there is profit. In all labor there is profit. But the talk of the lips tended only to penury. What it means is that the, the, the people that are just talking, 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 they just go into poverty. You know we have people like that. Always, even when you are working, if you are not a strict person, they will come and distract you when they are talking. Don't you see how some people can pay visit to people's office? And you know the person is in the office working, yet you go there with unnecessary talks. Oh, did you watch the football last night? Oh man, they, they, they were good, the guys were good. Oh, I, I mean, I like the way he scored the second goal in the office now set people please don't be afraid to kick them out you don't need set people around you <clears throat> praise god Hallelujah. in in all labor there is profit <clears throat> but there are talkers they will talk and talk and talk and talk and after that they will go and lie on papers to get link card Because they won't commit themselves to diligence. All they know is talking, unnecessary talking. And so watch out for such people as we are committing ourselves to hard work. Watch out for such people. Please watch out for them. Because the enemy might bring some of them your way. And the Bible says in Proverbs 12, 24, the hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule. Give us the amplified version on that. Proverbs 12, 24. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. The hand of the diligence will rule, but the slothful will be put to false labor. When you are lazy, you will be forced to labor. <laughs> they will be put to forced labor because they will not willfully commit themselves to hard work. So they have nothing. So anytime they need something, they have to work for somebody to get a little something. And that person will put them to forced labor. So why must you be forced to labor? Because there is no blessing on that one. Are you getting the point? So you must develop the attitude of working hard, willfully and joyfully in the righteousness of God, for God to bless you. So Christianity doesn't mean prayer and fast and lie down and expect things dropping on you. No. As a matter of fact, those that must show an example of hard labor are Christians. We are not, you see, when you are forced to labor, it means you are laboring as a slave. But when you joyfully labor to advance the kingdom, to contribute to the welfare of humanity, to add value to humanity, that will receive the word. And these are the people that will rule. So says God. We will be ruling in Jesus' name. Amen. I see you ruling. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And again in Proverbs 13:4, the Bible says. The soul of the sluggard desires and has nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. You see, it's all about diligent, not just working, you know, diligent, 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 hard work. Hard work. The soul of the sluggard desires, that's a lazy person. He, he will always desire it, but has nothing. 
He's just desiring it, but he doesn't have it. And he can't get it. But the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. Hard work. He's working hard, working with God. Or, I mean, obeying God when it comes to, you know, his financial work with God, when it comes to his financial commitment, covenant with God, he's working with God. When it comes to his right, uh, righteousness, he's working in Christ. Such a person, the Bible says, he will be made fat. 